Hey guys, we're in the middle of a rehab project right now. I'm gonna walk you through it to show what we're doing to it. But this is actually one of the very first properties I ever purchased. And I'm gonna tell you the biggest mistake that I made on this property that's actually cost me a lot of money to hopefully you don't make the same mistake that I did. But let, first let's go check out what we're actually gonna do on the property right now. So this house was built in the 50s or 60s. And when it was built, this was like the greatest house in the entire neighborhood. So it's actually a, a really sizable property, 2,700 square feet. Two major projects we're doing, we're actually building a staircase right here. And I'll show you why we're gonna do that in a second, but there's gonna be a staircase going down to the basement, which the basement will have kind of like a rec room feel. And then over here on this side of the room, the kitchen is on this side of the wall. So we're gonna open up this entire wall and there's gonna be kind of like a bar area type here. And this will be kind of a kitchen dining room type thing. So this is gonna just gonna be a big family room. Top level here has three bedrooms, one bath. Here's the reason why we had to, to build that staircase down there because the only way to get down to the basement was this weird little, uh, this was like a former exterior staircase. So this was the only way to get down to the basement before. And you kind of had to walk down this and this had to be like a living area, the garage and stuff. And it was just a weird setup. Basement is gonna be two bedroom, one bath in the basement. So this entire house is gonna be a five bedroom, two bath home. Bedroom number one is right here. And this is a really big sizable bedroom. The, there's gonna be a laundry room and kind of a little a uh, little utility space out here. The staircase from upstairs is gonna come down to right in here. So the staircase is gonna end here, and this is just gonna be kind of a rec room area. So the staircase is gonna be here. There's gonna be a little wet bar over in this area. This area right here with the wet bar, with the staircase coming down, this is gonna be this is gonna be the man cave. This will be where, you know, they can have a dartboard and the TV and the couch and everything. So this will be kind of a den rec room area, full bathroom, shower and sink and the whole nine yards. And then on the other side of that is gonna be bedroom number two. The biggest mistake I've made on this house, and sadly I've made this mistake on several other properties before, a lot of other investors make it, is I tried to cut corners. The results of that were when I bought the property, it was a total trash heap. So I got a good deal on it. That's that's the one thing I did right. I actually bought this property right, bought it for a pretty good discount. What I did is because this was one of the first properties I bought, I didn't have a lot of money. I fixed it up to the bare minimum that it needed to be livable. And then I tried to continue renting it to, to tenants who just needed a roof over their head. Well, the problem with, rent, with fixing it up to where it's just livable is I'm only attracting tenants that need a roof over their head, that can only pay so much. And I, there's a lot more turnover. The, the quality of tenants that I was getting was not that great because I tried to cut corners. And because I tried to cut corners and I got tenants in there, I've had three different types of flooring on this, on this property. I've, I've fixed holes in all kinds of walls. I've actually, probably with the amount of work I've put into this and the band-aids that I've put onto it, I could have fixed this house up twice. So if I had just done it right in the beginning and maybe pay a little bit more for it, maybe uh, had to refinance or, or, or done something to where I spent a little bit more money up front, but at least it was durable and I, I, I stopped putting band-aids on it. I just fixed it up right from the very beginning. I could have attracted those quality tenants who would have taken better care of the property over, over time and I wouldn't find myself on a second rehab that I'm doing on this property because I've already rehabbed this property once and that was when I bought it. But if I had just gone that little extra step in the beginning, I would have done all this right at, at, uh, at step number one, and I wouldn't have had to come, come back to it on step number two. So the amount of money that I've put in maintenance and repairs, in rehab, in evictions, in just getting uh, you know less than quality people in here because I didn't have a good property that attracted them, that was the biggest mistake I've made and a lesson that, that unfortunately I had to learn the hard way and a lot of other real estate investors have, have, have had to learn the hard way. So if you find yourself uh, wanting to cut corners, it's probably not gonna be worth it in the long run because real estate is a long-term game.